Hello folks, how y'all doing? This is Akari, your redneck pirate. And I'm starting a new series. It's going to be a modded Skyrim. i got around 50-something mods I've been working on. I've been watching Exotics play his uh, Skyrim series. And, well, kind of got me jealous and I wanted to play. So I'm starting my own series. Um, real quick, I'm going to go over the mods. Um, kind of rough idea what I, why I chose him. Let's see. Hold on one second. That is loud. Uh, hold on, I'm going to change that and I'll be right back. Alright, I fixed that. Take the sound down a little lower. Anyways, here's the mods. I'm using Mod Organizer. That's how I'm modding everything. There's two. That's the one I chose. Obviously, Sky UI. The unofficial Skyrim Legendary Edition patch. I don't have the Legendary Edition, but I have Skyrim with all the DLCs. So this way I have all the DLCs. And that was the only patch they support or update anymore. Immersive Armors uh, adds more armor. A quality world map, so it's a better map. It has the roads. Immersive ar Weapons, um, so it adds more weapons. Skyrim Project Optimization. It just optimizes the game a little bit. I chose that just to help out with frames per second with this many mods. Better Dialogue Controls. Um, I don't know if that's helped any. I added it so it helps stop some of the control issues, you know, the way Bethesda writes their games for controllers and then ports them over to PC. Sometimes the controls can get a little annoying. Immersive HUD kind of hides the HUD. The notice board, so I have more requests. The Forgotten City is a whole new area with quests. Um, 20 plus hours, I think is what it was. Convenient Horses. Uh, I'll go over that. Why I chose that, basically I'm turning off fast travel so I needed a good horse mod um, amazing follower tweaks uh, that's just because I hate followers and they're stupid so I wanted something that made them a little better book covers of Skyrim make them look nicer sneak coat tools um, I don't know if I'm gonna do a sneak character or not but if I do I have the tools the issues souls to perk it's all it does is add a stone so that you can convert s dragon souls to perks and I'll set it for five guard dialogue overhaul Basically, instead of the guards calling you names the whole game, the further you get, the guards start being more respectful. I thought it was a cool idea. Campfire, complete camping system. Um, again, because I'm not doing the fast travel, I wanted a way to do sleep. Wet and cold, so it makes everyone seem like it's actually cold. Let's face it, Skyrim is a cold place. Doing climates of Tamriel, with, which has weather, lighting, and audio. It does uh, basically better storms and changes the climates. Realistic ragdolls in force, so when uh, the NPCs die, they look more realistic. Enhanced blood textures, again, more realistic. Realistic lighting overhaul, which actually makes the game look way better. Moon and star, that's kind of like, that a, adds a, more mods in the new area. Persides, Perseids, I don't know how you pronounce that. Inns and tra taverns, realistic room rental rates. Uh, this changes uh, the bars and stuff and the ends makes it as far as I can tell it's not a whole lot of difference but we'll see moon path, path to Ellsworth uh, no I'm not pronouncing that right um, it's another area <laughs> supposedly adds an airship uh, I thought that kind of looked cool it's not the typical drab area of Skyrim it's got a desert and a jungle so it looks cool armored skeletons in the walking dead it add, adds more uh, more enemies to battle Belt fastened quivers. Um, instead of the quiver being in the middle of your back, it goes to your belt. Main reason I chose that was because there is backpacks in this. The warmonger armory adds more armor. I'm not sure if it adds anything else. I'm pretty sure it just adds armor. Wearable lanterns, uh, mainly because I hate carrying torches around all the time. Wiseman's 303 flora fixes. This was needed for another mod. I don't remember which one. That's the only reason it's there. Realistic water 2 makes the water look way, way better. Stones of Baroness quest markers. I hate those things. You get them in your inventory, you can't ever get rid of them, they don't stack, it's a mess. So that's why I chose this mod, so at least we can go get them and get it over with. Uh, immersive animations, just makes the animations as kind of an update. Immersive patrols, it gets all the patrols from different factions kind of roaming the world, get nice war scenes going on. Exneus's character enhancement, XCE. Um, I wanted a better character enhancement because I've got better uh, world enhancement, but I didn't want all the ones that are anime or the nude mods. It's one of that. And this one was the only one I really found that actually was recommended by a website I saw. And it's actually, I mean, I haven't noticed a whole lot of difference. I think it's just subtle enough to uh, keep the immersion. Skyrim Unbound does an alternate start. 
better fast travel, carriages, and ships overhauled. This is the one we're going to use to turn off fast travel. It also adds more carriages so that we have another way around as well as ships. I thought that was pretty cool. Unique, uniques. Um, it just adds more textures to like um, the Dragon Bane and different uh, weapons. Belly Arches Animal and Creature Pack. All it did was retexture the, the vanilla animals so it was better. They look better. That's all it did. The Skyrim HD 2K textures to make the world look better. I tried some of the ENB mods, but they just really killed my JPU. And I have a an EVGA NVIDIA GTX 970, so I have a decent video card. But man, that just it, it was more than I wanted, especially with recording. So uh, OBS, which is Organized Bandits in Skyrim, it gives I like, up to 30 more bandits, and they're organized, so it's a lot better. Here's what uh, Open Cities of Skyrim. So instead of having to go to the gate, open it, have a load screen, you just open the gate and walk right in. It's loaded. Um, I love this for immersion, especially since I we're not fast traveling. The only problem is there's a little bit of a hit with frames per second right there at the front as you go through the gates. Um, it seems to get better once you walk away from the gates, but I have noticed that. Immersive College of Winterhold. This kind of changes the Winterhold whole experience. So I'm really excited about this when I found it. Um, I kind of played around in there for a minute just to make sure everything was working. And it looks really cool. Pirates of Skyrim, the Northern Cardinal under the Black Flag. Now, I saw that, and I, you know, I'm a redneck pirate, so I had to get that. Uh, basically, you get to take, get your own ship, take it out to the uh, ghost, see a ghost, and actually um, plunder. So kind of cool idea. Deadly Dragons makes the dragons way harder. Realistic needs and diseases. So basically, we'll have to have food, sleep, water. I think water. And um, uh, the diseases actually impact you. Now, I decided not to go with Frostfall just because uh, I felt this was enough, especially when I do. I don't know why this is on continue. It should be on new. There shouldn't be a continue. Huh. Let me check that and I will be right back. One sec, guys. All right, so what it is is I use Mog Organizer and I just copied the profile to a new one I called for YouTube, and I guess it copies the saves as well. So basically, we're just going to delete the new saves when we get in there. So let's start a new game. Let's get it on. And as we progress, I will be trying to edit out the load screens. Um, I'll leave the first ones here, but uh, later on I will actually be cutting them out or try to. Um, some of that comes down to time, so uh, obviously it increases the amount of time to edit a video. Uh, this is going to be played on Legendary as well. As soon as it comes up here, there we go. So yeah, Legendary, Deadly Dragons, the Disease Mods, yeah, this ought to be very interesting. Being this on Legendary, I've played this through all the way through on Master with no problems. Um, we'll see how I do in Legendary, especially with all these extra mods on there. Because that when I played with Master level, that was with vanilla. Okay, so now we're going to open the mod configuration menu. And we're going to ignore that. First thing we're going to do is go to Game Settings, and we're going to go to... Alright, the difficulties are in Legendary. Legendary. Okay, now we're going to come down right here to Mod Configuration. We will go to Skyrim um, Unbound Last. So better fast travel, we have to go here first. Go to Settings, and we want to disable fast travel. Now we have to exit out of the mod, and then go back in. I, that's what I found. Um, campfire, i do not pretty sure there's nothing we need to change in here. Um, all the default settings... Convenient horses. We do need to set our keys. Um, and typically, I put this, been putting this on F. Harvest key. Yeah, I think that one was a G. Fast dismount, I didn't touch. Horse inventory was the H for horse. The toggle key, I just put the far one because I don't really do a whole lot with him yet, but I might. Um, the rest of it is a the, the default, um, this probably changed a bit. So you have horse charge. It's a, it's a pretty cool mod, so we'll get into that more. 
Deadly Dragons. Okay, there's only really one thing I want to change on here. And it's down here. And we want to change important NPCs are essential. We want those turned on. I actually looked at several mods, like Runaway, um, when vampires attack. Because I don't, I don't want my merchants dying. Uh, or important NPCs getting killed, now the quest is gone. So this is perfect, because I can turn that on, and I don't have to worry about them. Um, difficulty. We actually want this on Expert. We don't want it on Sane, but we want it on Expert. Um, I'll probably cry about that later. So, you know, it's just the way it is. Single Dragon. And I think it sets... Yeah, that's all good. There we go. Okay. Enhanced Blood. We didn't... Nothing to change. Immersive armor is fine. Immersive HUD, I want to change one thing on it. The activation, I want this so I can toggle the compass on and off. Other than that, I believe we are good. Yep. Uh, it's just souls to perks. I want to change this to five. Here we go. Enter to accept. Go back out of there. Northern Court of the Card Cardinal. There was nothing in here, so I don't know why this is in here. Um, OBS, this adds all the, the, the bandits. And I just left it at zero, at the normal. So I don't know how much that's going to change. Open cities of Skyrim. I think this is all just standard realistic needs. We are going to do this. Um, all this I'm going to leave alone. Let's see. Yeah. And I'm not going to turn on food spoilage. That just... Yeah, I got enough to worry about. That's so why I'm thinking. However, I am going to use this, so we have to do this. Turn it on. Realistic room rail, not do anything. Sky UI, no. Notice boards. Don't think we had to do anything with this one either. Oh, wait to exit the. Exit this for a minute so that it turns on everything for uh, the realistic needs. Wet and cold, I'm pretty sure the default was all fine. Yep. Herbal lanterns. I don't remember if I, I don't have to do anything with that. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to go to our Skyrim Unbound. Go to our course settings. And character name we're going to choose. And I went through this and I found the perfect one. Pirate. Fits us. Presets. Um, I had lots of thoughts about this. Um, I don't think I'm going to leave this on nothing. Random for the standing stone. Random for outfit, headgear, weapons, and wealth. The only thing is I thought about, you know, saying give me 2,000 septums so I can at least get the horse and the horn for the convenient horse mod. But, nope. The only thing we're going to change is dragon souls. We're going to be dragonborn. Um, we're going to do the main storyline and other ones as well. The time to delay, so dragons won't show up, will be 168 game hours. Up to 504 game hours. So somewhere up between those two is when it will actually start. Starting locations is going to be random. During the day, random city. So it could be a whole town, wilderness, inn, camp, jail, stronghold. It could be any of these. And, uh, let's see, all oh, that was fine. Okay, so now we're going to start our game. And I'll, I'm going to choose, uh, once I get to my character, I'm just going to choose a lot of defaults. So it's going to be real quick, because I don't need a lot of character changes. However, I like being an Argonian. <clears throat> Excuse me. Main reason is Argonians can swim in water. There's tons of water in Skyrim. We're going to be a pirate, swimming in water with no breathing necessary, and they're resistant to diseases. Uh, we're going to go with um, that one. Skin tone, Arconians. Okay, we got to be green. That green, the weight, we're going to go down just a little bit. The head, uh, complexion's fine. Scars, we're going to get a couple good scars right there. War paint's fine. Base, that was all fine as far as I'm concerned. Um, the eyes I want to change. Eye color. 
that one. The brow, we're going to go with that one. And the hair. Oh. See, okay. And the hair, I don't want to change this. I mean, really, I don't need to change the mouth. It looks just fine. The hair color. Go that way. Red. Match the war paint. So, that's it. We're going to name him. And obviously it's going to be Akari. Nope. And now we're going to see where we end up. Oak Flesh added. So let's Mage. So I think because of the Winter Helm change, the immersion of uh, Winter Winterheld, I'm going to go there and we're going to start off probably doing magic stuff. We're in a Storm clo Cloak camp. Wow, that's... Are we a Stormcloak? No. Surely not. We're not a Stormcloak. I... Well, we don't want to steal that. That's pretty funny. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh, we had fur armor. We have a great sword. I don't like great swords or two-handed weapons. I typically go with either the magic stuff, swords, or archer or the the bows. Huh, that's not bad. Do we have a backpack? No, we don't have a backpack. We do have water. That's nice. Okay. We can the archery here. I want to steal from this chest. Okay, so where on the map are we? Can we steal a horse? We can steal a horse, but... Yeah, I don't want to steal a horse. Not in legendary mode. Let's see on the map where we're at. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we are up by solitude. Um, I know for a fact... I hate that. I always want to drag. I know that the pirate mod starts right here. So, in Winterhold is right over here. Long ways. So, what we could do is go up here. How much cash do we have? We have 530 gold. So, what we could do is go back to the map and let's put a marker right here. And we're going to go up to this road and work our way up. Up there to, and, and discover all this. I'm hoping we don't find a whole lot of here because we are not very well equipped. Because um, like I said, we have fur armor. So we do have some light armor, but nothing great. Uh, let's go ahead and favorite this. Exit that. And we're going to do it this way. So um, this is where the compass is nice. Hit the X key and there comes the compass. And I am going to be doing alchemy. Just because it's a nice way to get potions and a lot of uh, money. And right now I'm wishing we had a pickaxe. Where's her? Nah, we'll, we'll get one. We will definitely. Ooh, tapanilla. Okay, we got all of it. But on this one, got that. Now, the nice thing about convenient horse mods is you can actually gather this stuff from on the road. And I'm a little worried about being in this area, the level one. Because uh, this is a part of the unforgiving part of the map. They get a little crazy over here. Spiders and... Different things. Bet the... I don't remember the name of it, but there's a shrine up there. And, oh, there's... Okay, we're close enough now. It's not a big deal. There's a, I think it's up there. There's a shrine that has some really good... A really good blade at the end of it. Daybreaker, I think, is the name of the blade. Fix and hit. Um, oh, I don't drew a blank what this town is. Solitude. 
not something I'm supposed to deliver. Well, hand it over. You won't see it because of the inverse of HUD. Otherwise, it should show up here. So, let's see what it is. It's probably for the moon one. Uh, it should be here. Talk to the Dragonborn. Hope letter finds you well for Sky uh, Skyrim. Get out of the way, I can't see. Marwan and the Great House of, I don't know how you pronounce that, all are in need of your strength. The grave threat from my homeland of Marwan has migrated to Skyrim, and though I nip at its heels, I fear that I cannot bring it down alone. Please, if you care at all for this land and her people, meet me at the Sleeping Giant Inn in Riverwood as soon as you can. This is a level 5. It's the moon and, what did I call that? It's moon and something. Oh, where'd it go? I'm looking at my list, guys. Give me one second. I don't see it. Moon and Star is the name of the mod. So we shall see. No, I don't need anything from you. Go away. I'm, I'm... Get up there. Okay. We will come back and take this to Winterhold. And we're going to start at Winterhold. Main reason is it's nice little mod, uh, you know, modded area, and it's different, and it's kind of what I'm excited about. Uh, these guys are here, and you'll get to see open cities, or yeah, the open cities mod, which is very cool. I saw a butterfly. See another one? I saw another one. All right, normally you come up here and you see it's getting a little stuttery. That's because of that's mod. But you walk up, hit the button, and there's nothing you do. You just walk in. Is that not spectacular? Yeah, get on with it. I really don't care. Um, one thing you're gonna find is I'm not going to. I mean, if you're watching this to see me follow the main storyline. Forget it. I'm going to do this main storyline, but it's going to be a while. Um, there's other things I want to do. Stormcloak escaped the city after he murdered High King Tori. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. And I don't like the Stormcloaks or the Empire. Um, so I don't know when I'll get into the Civil War. I have never made my mind up on either ones I liked. Hold on one sec. Sorry, I had to cough. And now you get to watch his head get chopped off. Come on, chop his head off. On this day. Oh, this has got the blood mod. I wonder if it's going to make a difference. Oh, yeah, yeah, much better. Hey, I wonder, I doubt he's got anything. And he's got Amulet Talos. Well, we'll just take that. Need something? Alright, so we have the inn right here, the Winking Skeever. I love that name. So there's tons of shops right here. There's a metal shop right there. Uh, the archery shop, I believe, is right there, if I remember right. But I don't have a lot of money, so there's no point in me hanging around here. My 500 gold is not enough to buy new armor. I am taking some of these nightshades. Some more. Make it these others. And discovering all the locations mm, doesn't help me a lot because I don't I'm not fast traveling. So lot, there's going to be a lot of traveling. Um, what I'll probably end up doing is cutting a lot of the traveling out. Uh, you know, for instance, if I'm trying to go from wherever home I decide to set up at, like Winterhold. And I want to come to Solitude. Well, if I don't want to take the carriage because it costs money, then what I'll do is I'll simply just ride a ride the horse over here. See, the gate's still open. Let's just close the gate. Oh, that's not the same gate. The other gate's open. Okay. That's the gate. So let's go down here, discover the docks. Let's go check out over by the, um, where the... Pirate the Skyrim mod is. It's supposed to be down here. That's how we started here anyways. That's definitely another one I'm really interested in trying out. Grabbing some more. 
materials here for alchemy. Okay, so this is a typical dock here. But there's a chest down here. Maybe there's some good stuff in here. And the other one is right over there, I believe. But let's come down here. There's a chest under this boat. And let's see, where can we jump in? We can jump in right here. And remember, we are Arconians, so... Remember where it's at. Pretty sure there was a chest under here. Huh. Yeah, I was positive there was one down here. Huh, guess I was wrong. And let's see. Now we we'll just come over here and get out. Another Argonian. Huh. Okay, don't want to talk to you anyways. Actually, let's just jump in the water and swim over there. It's actually a lot quicker than going up and around. And let's see if we can come up right here. Yeah. See, this is not... This is new. All this right here is all new. And I, our boat will end up right here, I think. So I think what we have to do is talk to this guy right here. Yes. Docs look desolate. With the soldiers all fighting in the war, there's nobody to hunt down the bandits. Travel has become dangerous of late. Okay. I thank you for your kindness. I wish you the best of luck. Well, thank you. There we go. Started the Northern Cardinal, and we definitely want to do that one. Can I come in here? No, it's just a bed. Okay. So, we're... Not auto-saving. Let's go in here. Go to requests. Find the leads of pirate activity on Dante Slowed. Okay. Show on the map. Okay, I don't want to do that right now. There's moon and star, and there's by the light of the moon, so we have both. But I don't want to do those just yet. Let's go check out what this one is. Heck, I want me show that on map. I bet it doesn't have. Let's go over here. What map? My current location. Let's let's get rid of that. Okay, so I need to go over there. You know what? Let's go check it out. I don't know. I mean, we're level one. I mean, well, let's face it, we don't even have a level at this point. What do you need? What are you? Good morning. Okay, so you can't talk. There is a blacksmith here. And there is a really bad um <laughs> Bad job of work there, guys. Uh, come on. Got a little bit of clipping going on. Call to docks in. And because this is not a normal one, it does not have the, uh, the bounty boards or the notice boards. What was this one? Solitude dock blacksmith. Well, he's standing right over there. Okay, that is the, uh, that goes to Solitude. Actually, that doesn't go to Solitude. That goes into the docks, or not the docks, the, um, the warehouse thing. I wonder if that mod broke it. And, let's see.
I have no... I, I really don't like two-handed weapons. They're very slow. However, that's what we got at the moment, so that's what we're going to go with. And this is legendary. So don't be surprised if I just run away. Oh, these are so... Oh, give me that. I am shocked that I have not come across anything that wants to kill me yet. Do an F5. Quick save. And it's over there. Yeah, I'm really shocked I haven't seen a wolf, a spider. Uh, I know dragons will shot, uh, drop down on my head just yet. Uh, let's see. Ooh, more flowers. Okay, we want to go down there and there's a boat there. And, you know, I don't even have a bow yet. I haven't even robbed anyone yet. I just got the stuff I started with. And we're jumping into probably a tough mission. Okay. Uh, that one's sneak. I have no idea what's over here. That is not the boat we want. Pretty sure that's not the boat we want. However, that's the boat we want to get on. Alright, F5. The Dante slowed discovered. Okay, that's new. And he's not attacking us, so let's... Put that away. Hey, are you gonna fight me? Um. Okay. Yeah, I just go over here. Yeah, I backed off. Does he see me? He sees me. He drew a sword. He's I'm hidden. Uh, let's try this. Go to walk mode. And my sneak is horrible, so... That's why I F5'd a second ago. There is skooma everywhere. It does not say steal. Oh, we got detected. Wonder if he's gonna chase me down and kill me. <laughs> uh, that's one of those load screens. Yeah, there is. Please don't kill me. Oh, it is someone that wants to kill me. Crap. Oh, dude, look at that. <laughs> That was quick death. Okay, so we are not ready to go on that boat yet. And our sneak is not going to be nowhere near it. And we're leaving. Because there's no way I can take that guy on. Still a drink real quick, guys. Alright, I want to get out of this, off this boat. We will come back to this uh, later. Obviously, I'm not going to find anything out here. That's weird. Since when do boats do that? Huh. Okay, so now I guess we can go over... Uh, see, the problem is we're on the way up here... 
These caves are going to be way above our pay grade. Oh, flower. Um, I think we need to go back to solitude. What is this? It's a lighthouse. Okay, let's go check it out. It's a rabbit. Solitude lighthouse discovered. Um, see what's up here. Just a fire. How is... Okay, I'm slightly peckish, thirsty, but not tired or drunk. I don't know if you saw that, it was in the top left-hand corner. I'll do it again for you. There you go. So, I need to eat something soon. Um, let's just go ahead and unlock it. Yes, yes, I know how to lockpick. Ooh, it's a whole different area. This ought to be good. Hey, it's someone's house. Problem is, I don't think I want to steal all this stuff. I am in legendary mode, and when they send the thieves after you, it's like... Brutal, and there's a guy in here. So we're going to get out. If you ever played Skyrim before... Or you've never played in higher levels. You know when you're on the normal level and uh, you steal something from someone and a little while later you get uh, mercenaries after you and they try to kill you and you manage, do manage to kill them. They're, t they're tough even on lower levels and it's because you stole something they send them after you teach a lesson. Well now jump ahead to legendary mode and on legendary the, you're not getting away. They're going to kill you. So, I mean, a master, yeah, I got a backside hand to him. I had to run away from that area and avoid that whole area for a long time. In the end, they tried attacking me, and I managed to run into a city, and that kept them from getting me killed. Now, I know there's caves and stuff, but I want to go to Winterhold. We'll go up and check out Winterhold. This is going to be a little longer episode than what I'll do for a lot of future ones. It's probably going to be around 45 minutes to an hour. Um, I may try keeping them around 30 minutes, longer than my normal episodes, but there's so much content in Skyrim. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get back to Solitude, and then I'll come back unless something else happens. So, be right back. Alright, we're back here at Solitude, and we just hit up to the stables. I'm going to spend a little bit of money and get to Winterhold. Need a ride? Yeah, I'd like to hire a carriage. Where do you want to go? Winterhold. Uh, let's see, where are you? Winterhold is going to cost me a hundred bucks. But we will get up there and we're going to start on the ma the magic side first. So now we're going to hop in the back and we should just show up over there. Now my plan, guys, is to utilize the carriages. Um, to me, that's immersive because you're having to pay. Um, of course, later on, gold becomes not a major issue in this game. But either way, I also plan on doing a lot of horse travel. And I'm very thirsty and I feel tired. So, let's go into inventory. Let's go to food. That's cooked. It's a filling meal. So let's cook one of them. Get a deal of water. You need more water. Wow, you're still hungry? Okay. There... And there, how's that doing? You are no longer thirsty. Okay, let's look up. You're currently satisfied, not thirsty. You're tired, but and sober. Okay, I don't really want to rent a room. However, I think I'm going to have to at first. Um, where is the inn here? Right here. Let's go ahead and rent a room. It's good to be nighttime anyways. Oh, yeah, notice boards. There's the notice boards right there. You have the message board, which is typically funny, and you have quests, which we'll look at that later. Let's go in here. Let's get a room. I'm sorry, 
sorry, could you describe the smell? Like some horrible monster that turned inside out and then exploded. What did you do? It was a minor miscalculation. I've already corrected it for future experiments. This. This is why people have a problem with your college, Nilikar. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm bed. Well, let's start with a bed. Wow, I'm running out of gold fast. 80 gold for a room. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to be tired. Let's ask if there ain't work. Take a look at this. Some of the Yarl's men came by and left this bounty litter. Sweet. I probably can't do it. Yeah, Snow Point Beacon. Yeah. You kidding, guy? Um, yeah, we can do that. That work? Okay, let's go check out the the college. We we'll just have to suffer, unless we can find a bed roll somewhere on the ground. Cause I'm pretty sure I didn't have one. Let's go back over here to the backpack. Let's do that, just cause we had it. Well, that's gonna be an armor anyways. Nope. So. Unless I see a bed roll somewhere, or the two chicken egg. We are just going to go up here. To winter hold and see if she lets us in. She always stops us. That's part of her job. Okay. What is this place? Forgive me. Most who arrive here do so because they have heard of the college beforehand. This is the College of Winterhold, a safe haven for mages in Skyrim, a place of wisdom and arcane knowledge. Sweet manner. But what is it you expect to find within? I want to use the power of ice and fire to destroy any who oppose me. That's definitely what I want. Especially on legendary uh, edition or legendary hard uh, difficulty. Well, give me the book and we'll find out. Hopefully, it's a low end spell since how we are level one. Okay. I'll take your test. Oh, God. That is horrible. No. Well, if you think you're capable of it, then I'd be happy to provide it to you for a mere thirty. Okay, we'll buy that one for thirty gold because it's cheap. But there's no way we can conjure it. Here you are. Now I'm anxious to see you cast it. I'm positive we can't do it. Um, which, where do you get the book at? Oh, did it just automatically give me the spell? Uh, bet it's right there. Conjure Flame at Actronach. Cost 132. And we have 100. So that's what I mean by there's no way we can do it. Because I can then put it on. Don't have enough magic. Here. So we will have to come back. Man, I really wanted it in there. Oh, you are so evil. You can't even get in. So if you go past her, she'll kill you. Wow. So I've got to level up or find some robes to add to my uh, conjuration. That just stinks. So let's go check out the bounty board. Uh, let's put that back on. Put it away. We need to kill something. I want to steal from the barrel. So let's check them out. Maybe we'll find something good. Looking for pelts. I don't have a bow. So being a huntsman is not good. Book collecting, no. Thorcum 
the Orkachalot, or whatever you pronounce that word, is uh, ingots. Yeah, I don't have any way of getting to there easily. Clicked River Betty. Get a lesson in alchemy. That's kind of interesting. Because we can go swimming real easy. Uh, what is a missive? I don't know what a missive is. That that may get me killed. Dormer technology definitely will. Yes, I have Visited Solitude. No. And they're just going to get, yeah, Slay the Beast, Slay the Undead. We're not ready for those. Um, I wonder what the Solitude one is. Where'd it go? Let's just do it and find out. Okay. Inventory. Have you ever visited Solitude? I've heard about it, but do not have the time to see it for myself. It may be worth a while to go take a look. Okay, that's nothing. So I have to actually go there, though, don't I? That's a quest now, right? Net off, turn that off. Morning star by the light. Miscellaneous. Yeah, so that's not a quest. Or is it? Let's just, you know. I've been to Solitude. That's a long ways away. I really don't want to spend 100 gold to get back there. Um, the problem with being here is this road right here is really dangerous. But I bet we can now stop doing that. Work our way around here to Dawnstar. There is at Dawnstar a couple of mines we can hit. We can get a pickaxe there. We can go to the Morthal. So what we're going to do is we're going to come along here. Problem is, I know that there is spiders right here. And a dragon always shows up in Morthal. Um... We already, that's where we started, so... Hmm. I think that is our only choice. Did that not... put a marker? Yeah, put a marker. Does it matter? Um, I think I can go that way. So this is a surefire way to get killed. No bow. Only a crappy sword. Very little money. And I'm going to run across the, the frozen tundra. That's what you want to call it. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Let's go back to the map. I know for a fact. I came. I did one playthrough and I started in Dawnstar. And I came this way, I believe. And I got wrecked right here by bandits. And I wasn't playing on Legendary. So this could be interesting. And looky there. Freaking bear. Wow. And he's after the goat. I'm hoping I can run across here without that bear being attracted because we want to go right over there. And if you run sideways, you can actually scale these pretty good. Where did he go? It's a wolf. I could take a wolf, I think. I don't know about the wintry wolves. And there's the bear. Okay, we're going to try and stay this way. Yeah, I know, I'm being a chicken. Again, I'm on legendary mode, what you expect. Let's see. Oh, there's another wolf right there. 
Okay, we're going to take something on here because we are in a bad area. We really need to go back south towards Winterhold. Our sneak is at least going up. Okay, F5, we're going in. I see, I wish I had a pickaxe because that's gold. No, it's iron ore. All right, bring it, buddy. Ah, wow, get wrecked. Don't go. Oh, don't. Yeah, I'd go down here after you. Wolf pelt. And that's a fox. Don't care. I don't even think we have a healing. Do we? What do we have magic wise? We have oak flesh. That goes on the. I want you on the right. Okay. Goes on the other hand. That's what always got me backwards. Okay. So we're going to do that, and we're going to put this, oh wait, that's right. Okay, so let's, we got a stupid two-handed weapon. So we're going to go to Oak Flesh, and we're going to favorite it. It's nothing drastic, but at least a little bit helps, so we'll go two. And so that way, when we do run into something, we can actually give ourselves a little more armor. However, that dude up there... Let's just do this. We'll at least get our restoration up. And it's an easy way to get the restoration up. I think it's pretty sure it's restoration, right? That's alteration. We'll get it up real easy by using this. Okay, what sees me? Oh, it's a wolf. Let's just get it on, Wolfie boy. Any more? Alright, we got him. Let's see if we can get... Oh. Okay. We do not want to go down there. We're going to have to go around. Um, huh. I guess you hit twice, you get uh, on both hands. Oh, don't fall down there. Okay, can I get down this? Yeah. So funny how you can do that. I'm a lizard, I'm not a cat. Oh, what's attacking us? Something is out there. Let's go F5. And let's get up against the wall. There it is. Okay, there it is. A stone around here. Okay, F5. I'm going to do that a lot, guys. Stone's up there. Map. wonder how far it is. There's no point beacon. <sighs> Move it. That's where the one deal was. We needed to kill. Let's head to Dawnstar still. And I'll, like I said, I'm going to cut out traveling in the future. Um, this first episode. Just so you guys know what it's going to be like. Uh, 
Oh, I don't want to be any part of that. Yeah, yeah, I know you're tired. Deal with it. Um, who's going to kill who? Because uh, I don't think I can handle either one of them. Only one of them's bad. I don't know. That's why I'm waiting to see if the good guy wins. So we'll go loot the bad guy. I think that guy right there is the bad guy. And that's why I think this guy is going to die. He did die. Except he died. Uh, okay, let's see. Are you going to kill me? What do you got? Ah, smell that fresh air? Truly, this is a good oh, he teaches about speechcraft. The best tales are those of adventure. Who could truly write such a tale? Okay. First experiencing such. Okay, so he's a singer. I don't want to talk to the singer, but this guy right here has ton. Ooh, iron sword. We're taking all his stuff. Thanks, dude. And there he had a buddy. You are a badass. Oh, look at that. Okay, get that. Um, go to inventory. Go check this out. It's almost as good as the great sword, but it's a single hander. No, it's a great sword, too. Oh, man, I thought I had something great. The great sword still has more damage, but that's worth more money. The iron sword, yeah, we'll have to stay with the great sword. Unfortunately, wait, wait, back in there. What do we have for armor? Do we have anything better? We have twenty-five. No. Imperial light armor. The boots are better because there are seven. Seven and seven. The helmet, which we didn't even have, is better. Um, I don't know about shields. because we don't have... Those are going to get sold. There's one of them, that's 12 pounds. Rugged fur cloak. I, I don't need that for cold, but it looks cool. Alright, so we need to go... Where did my marker go? That way. There's a fire down there. Um, do I do check it out or... Yeah, we go check it out. I think okay. I know where this is at. On one of my one of my playthroughs, actually, wasn't a playthrough. I was testing out these mods, and the sky. The first time I tested it out, the Skyrim Unbound put me right here because I remember this letter: "Your ship should arrive in weeks." Blah blah blah. Um, let's get the lantern. Let's sleep in the bedroll. I think we have to sleep six hours. And I'm gonna get a quick drink.
You know, I just realized that my mic is off. I have no idea how long that's been off. I do apologize if you guys have been sitting there watching me yak away. I will probably try and cut some of that out. Did not realize it all. It was off. Um, we're going with this one, and there is so many wolves. There's one more up there. I don't know. Do we have any potions? We have minor potions. Um, I don't think I want to use a scoom unless I have to. We're going to put some more stamina in. We're going to do two of them. Ah! Wow. He's just about killed me. Carry weight, speed, magic. Ah, oh, he got me. Good thing I got a save back there. See, legendary. What? Two wolves. Just kill me and I couldn't even move. I hate this sword. Yeah, this sword's horrible. And we're way back there. All right. Yeah, we're back there. Okay. Uh, that means I got to find that again. So I will be right back and I'll get caught back up with you guys. Hi right, guys, I'm back. I dropped down and come across there, killed two wolves, and I was following a blood trail up. And I've come to a cave. And uh, we're going to go in just because. But I'm pretty sure it's above my pay grade. Way above my pay grade. I'm probably going to die again. And it looks like I can level up. And unfortunately, I may have to put it in two-handed because that's what I'm using. The the spear seems to be better. It seems to be a lot faster. We're going to do this. And we're going to go back to the spear. Um, I have no idea. Empty wine bottle, empty wine bottle, empty wine bottle. I don't know what I'm going to find in here. And judging by that, it's going to be Falmer. Pirates, something like that. Yeah, this is probably not someplace I want to be. The empty wine bottles kind of says it all. What is in here? Scratch my nose. Yeah, I'm just pretty sure I don't want to be in here. Let's see. I'm kind of curious what this is. I'm pretty sure this is Falmer. No, it's dry. It's a. Uh, that's a skeleton. Um, I wonder. Okay. Oh, he hit really hard. He's a skeleton hero. Yep, that's what I thought. I should have ran away. That's what, three deaths in the first episode? Wow! So we're going to start back at the entrance, and we're going to try and get the Dawn Star to hell with this. Wow. I'm not sure how long this episode is going to be. It may not be broke up in between two different ones. I don't know. We'll see. Um. Yeah, I want to... Yeah. Wow. Now, there's horkers over here. I'm hoping I can get around them. 
And there's dungeons there, but man, as you just saw, we are not, we can't even handle a simple skeleton. Get up the hill. I wonder if it shows you how many times you've died in a single game. But it's in the stats screen. And there's those wolves that killed me last time. We need to get up that hill, though. So we're going to put this on, sneak as much as we possibly can. Go stone flesh. Be nice if we can take them one on one at a time or work around. Up and over. I wonder if I can do that. Alright, we're going to have to take him on. I wonder how many other there that I wonder how many of them there is. Oh way too many. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Okay, we're gonna use these. Okay, we want our pelts, because those are worth money. And he's got garnet. <sighs> Look at the blood. Oh, that's so cool. I don't think I put it on heavy. I think I put it on just kind of a medium. F5, get around that. Let's put this on, because there's probably more. Get her spear back out. Yeah, I know you're thirsty. His stomach, my stomach's growling and he's thirsty. What is this? Okay, there's a dragon perch up here. Okay, so now we found another camp. There is a dragon deal. Where is the dragon deal at? Yeah, the dragon top is right here. This is where dragons will spawn morons. Oh well, they can deal with dragons in a few hours. I want to get to Dawnstar. I do not want to get there through that. That is a pretty nasty uh, keep. Dawnstar is on the other side. I'm pretty sure if I'm right, that's full of spiders. Really nasty ones. Yeah, that is uh, definitely not where I want to be. So we're going to go up and around. Yeah, I even see him. See him right there, right in the center of the screen. Right by the staff, right there. Right there. And I remember playing when I was playing on a standard walkthrough. Just, I mean, I walked through, but play through. I was just playing because I wanted to. And I got killed over there. So we're going to, and that was on normal difficulty. Ah, oh, there's more wolves. The wolves, I tell you, the wolves. I wonder if I can sneak up behind them. I mean, they're wolves, for crying out loud. Dungeon over there. Okay, Dawnstar is straight ahead, so we're going to run. Probably a bad idea, but...
Uh oh, did I just crash? No, I did not crash. I just locked up for some reason. Oh, fudge. Uh, try to get into town. No! Okay, hold on. I hope I paused it. Uh, we want a stamina as quickly as possible. These guys are brutal. Okay, give me the other stamina. Let the guards deal with these guys. Hey, dude. Get them. Here they come. Yeah, let you guys deal with the bandits. <laughs> And we're going to let them kill the bandits, because I wonder if I can sneak in and get a couple hits. Yeah, we're going to take all the stuff. Thongard, don't, don't hit him. Thongard. Yeah, see, that's the way to do it. Let them battle it out. <laughs> There's more of them than there is me. Okay, that's a husky. Huh. Yes. There we go. You guys just get on with it. Alright, so we can put that away. We've made it all the way to Dawn Guard or Dawn Star. Let's see, we've been to Open the map here. We started right here. We've been to Solitude, Winterhold, and now we've come all the way back through. It's kind of funny that the Winterhold's Imperial Camp, that's what that is. I thought that was a dragon symbol. And we've come all the way back over here to Dawnstar, and we'll see if we can't work our way back to Winterhold, uh, to Marthal on the next one. and Or we may even take, actually, I got a better idea. Let's take this to Riverwood. Yeah, we'll do that on the next uh, episode. We will grab, find the carriage, which should be right up there. And yes, there's carriages. That's part of the carriage mod that I added. And I will hit a couple of... I will go... Actually, we'll just do that right now. Should be right here, the iron mine. And I'll go in here, I'll do the iron, the mining, because you guys always don't want to see me mine. I just run in there, hit all the mining spot, all the iron, do some selling. And then we'll do all, and then on the next video we will go to Riverwood and uh Whiterun. And we will see what kind of trouble we get into, how many times we can die in that episode, because there's been three on this one, I think. So I'll thank you guys for watching. And if you like what you've seen, hit that like button, leave some comments, maybe you can suggest some mods that I don't have going. Uh, or maybe you know something about one of the ones I've got that will all be listed in the uh, description that um, maybe has the issues. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.